Hello everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right. I, there's some things that need to be said here. So please do not fast forward this part because it is super duper important. Okay. Um, when I released my last video regarding the giveaway for the blob puddle, whatever painting you want to call it, there have been some accounts that were created in YouTube using my name and my picture and have been commenting and messaging you, um, you know, viewers under the comments um, saying you've won, you've been put on the short list, congratulations, yada, yada, yada. Guys, this is a major scam, okay? I, you know, put a comment in that video. I pinned it to the top. Most, hopefully most of you saw it. But I have been bombarded, okay? And when I mean bombarded by emails, private messages, all kinds of people saying, oh my God, I won, Canela, thanks so much. No, there's no winner. I haven't announced anything to anyone. There is no Telegram. I don't even know what Telegram is. And I'm really, really sorry that this is happening, but it's out of my control. I have blocked, reported, deleted these people who are creating these fake accounts. From what I know, there are three fake accounts that were created. I'll put them up here so you can see them, just so that you kind of have an idea. First off, I would never, ever, ever in a million years post my personal cell phone number to the world to see and text me. Never going to happen. So that should have been indication number one. Second, their English is horrible. Their grammar is not proper. So that should be indication number two that this is a scam. Just you got to look at everything with a fine tooth comb. Okay. There's no telegram. I've never ever in the four plus years I've been doing this have asked anyone for their personal information, for their credit card info, for any of that kind of stuff. And what kills me is most of you have realized it's a scam, but unfortunately there are a few of you who really thought they were talking to me and, you know, started conversing with these people and, you know, someone said that they won a PlayStation 5 and they were really excited that they won and all that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no, it's not me. Um, you guys need to be very vigilant about who you're speaking to on social media. Um, you know, you know me, you know my channel, you know what my, my name looks like. You know, you have to like really pay attention to this stuff. Guys, please, I do not want anyone to get scammed out of their hard earned money or anything like that. Like if you see these people report, block them, delete them, don't engage with them. Please do not engage with them. Um, you know, it's out of my hands. I can't control these. I want to swear, but I'm not going to. Um, I can't control it. So the only thing I can do is continue to block, report, and delete. Um, so please, please, I have not chosen a winner. And I won't cho choose a winner for like another week or so. Um, so, you know, no. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, the other thing is um, that is happening as well is people will comment on my videos and then some random man, okay, it's always a man, will comment on your comment and say, hi, Jane, um, I loved your comment. Where are you from? Can we get to know each other? No, don't, do not. These are scammers. So I've also seen this happen on my channel. And some of you actually respond to these guys and say, oh, hi, I'm from North Carolina or whatever. You know, thanks and yada, yada. And you guys are having a full out conversation in my videos and this guy is only trying to schmooze you and you know scam you so if you reply if you comment on any of my videos and someone other than myself comments especially a man and says oh hi i loved your comment where are you from and you know is asking you questions guys do not do not respond to these people they are scammers please 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 do not respond block delete nothing okay I, I, it makes me sick to my stomach knowing that there are predators out there who are after people on social media and sadly there are people who are trustworthy gullible um, and just don't know any better, unfortunately, and they fall for these things. So please don't let that be you. Okay. I'm just, 
I, I can't help it. It just makes me so angry that these predators are out there. So please, please be mindful. When I choose a winner for that painting, you will know here, I will do a video and I will speak to you guys and tell you guys who the winner is, okay? And that's not gonna happen for another week or so. So stay tuned, watch my videos and watch for me to physically tell you who the winner is, okay? Now, speaking of comments and that video, it has been three days or so, and there's over 700 comments of people who would like to win that painting, which is fabulous. It's great. Here's, here's what I don't understand. Where are all these 700 people on all my other videos? So on all my other videos, I get 100, 200, 300 comments, depending on the video. But when there's a giveaway involved and something to win, there are people coming out of left, right, and center that I've never even seen or heard of before. And everybody wants to win something for free, which I get it, fine, you know. But I wish a lot of these people would actually watch my videos and actually comment on my videos even when there's nothing to win and there is no giveaway because every comment on my video supports my channel, supports my videos, supports the algorithm on YouTube and helps support me. So for those of you who are watchers and never actually comment, I would appreciate a comment on videos if you're watching them and subscribe, subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Um, you know, I work really hard on these videos that are free for everyone to watch. Yes, I know I'm ranting now, but it, it just, it bothers me a little bit that when there's something that needs to be given away and it's free, all of a sudden there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments. Where are all these people on all my other videos where I'm not giving away something for free? I know where my loyal followers are. I know because I've seen your comments and I love you guys and I appreciate you guys. Um, but it's just, I find it hysterical, funny, sad, disappointing. I don't know. It's just, it, it's just when there's, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to get at. So I'm just going to drop it. But I wish all those people would comment on regular videos because again, comments really do help and support my channel. So if you're watching a video, comment. Tell me if you like it. Tell me you hate it. Tell me it's a beautiful day. I don't know. Just comment. It would be really nice. Anywho, let me show you guys <laughs> the dried results of um, the last painting. So let me turn it up the right way. So it, no, which way is it? Yeah, it's this way. I guess it really doesn't matter, but it's dry. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Look at all the shimmer in there. Still obviously needs a top coat of crystal resin, but it is done and it is available for purchase. If anyone is interested, as I mentioned, it is an 18 by 24 inch canvas and it is available. You can even do the orientation like this, which I actually kind of like it like this. I don't paint it like that because I just don't have the room on my table. Well, I do, but camera wise, but it looks really pretty like that. Look at the shimmer in there. So that is available for purchase. All right. If you are interested in purchasing that, please email me at canelasaraco at gmail.com. Guys, I booked my flight for, for North Carolina. I, Tammy and I booked our flights today. Uh, we just booked our flights. It seems so surreal now. If you want to come and see Tammy and I in Charlotte, North Carolina, that's February 18th and 19th. Come and do a workshop with us. Come and learn how to Dutch pour, how to bloom, how to resin, how to swipe. There's so many things you can learn in these classes. If you are interested in attending, email Tammy and I at fluidartescape at gmail.com, okay? So if you want to come and hang out with us and have a good time in Charlotte, North Carolina, email us. All right, enough talking. Let's get to today's painting. I cannot wait. These colors are gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get started. All right, everybody, today's piece, obviously an 18 by 24 inch canvas. Okay, I've done my lines here and the colors I'm going to be using today are turquoise. Um, I really wanted to do turquoise. I, I don't remember the last time I did like a turquoise painting. So my base color is going to be titanium white by Amsterdam and turquoise green by Amsterdam. Okay. And so I've made three different shades. There's the light. 
there is the medium in the, in the middle and this is going to be the dark all right so it's literally just the white and the turquoise green this one has let's say 90 percent white and like maybe even 95 percent white and then five percent green this one's kind of 50 50 ish and then this one is 95 percent ish green and like five percent white so you got to play with it i had to play with this to get the colors that i wanted so just um there's no actual how much green did i put how much white did i put i just kind of played around so those are going to be my three shades for the base the colors i'm going to use today are going to be i'm doing purple purple with turquoise now there's so many color combinations you can do with purple um i could have done uh, pink, but I didn't want to do that because I kind of did a bluish and a pink, you know, when I did the blue and pink one. So I didn't want to do that. So you could do purple. Yellow would probably look really nice with this um, turquoise color as well, but I wanted to do purple. So we've got Pearl Lilac by Arteza. Then I've got Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo. Then I have 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. Then I have Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. So I've got a really dark color to mix in with the rest of these somewhat lighter colors. And then I have Pearl Cream by Arteza. Now, my only thing is I might actually just switch this and do it like that. Because I don't typically like having a pearl or an iridescent at the top. But I also don't want this to be the most dominant. So... I, I might just leave it like that actually. So those are going to be my colors um, and they're looking pretty cool. It was kind of hard for me to, you know, pick, like, I mean, magenta could have gone really nice with this as well, but I'm going to stick to a purple and cream color theme. Um, I could have used, actually, I could use titanium buff light, but I really do like the pearl um, cream by Arteza. So if you want to know how I mix my colors, I mix everything with water and Floetrol, okay? And if you want to know the ratios of how I mix everything, you can check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who are new watching and want to know my ratios and how I mix my paints for the perfect blowout consistency, all right? So I'm going to put these back here in order. And I'm going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, let's get started. Um, starting with the uh, lilac purple here. All right, so um, new year and I'm going to be doing some really cool new projects. I'm currently working on something right now, which is taking forever to do. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a video on it yet or not, um, but, because uh, it's all time-lapsed because it is such a long process of what I'm doing. So I may show you the time-lapsed version and maybe do a voiceover and talk to you guys while it's happening. I'm not sure yet. Um, stay tuned for some cool new ideas that I'm working on. I'm gonna be doing a new clock idea. So if you guys remember the clock I did from Bear Woods, I'm going to be doing something. Uh, I got some more clocks, so I've got some ideas happening there. Um, all kinds of stuff I'm doing. I've had a few commissions for the wood letters already. So I got to be working on the wood letters with the bloom on it. And yes, I will do a video showing you guys how to bloom on the letters. So I will do that as well. But yeah, there's a lot of things I'm working on now this new year. And I can't wait to show you guys everything that I have been uh have been or will be working on. So I'm super excited. All right, last color. I decided to keep it the way I had it. So we'll keep the pearl on the top like so. And as you can see, I did the same colors on both sides. I didn't want to sit and mess with what color do I do where and 
this and that. So I just kept it simple. Let's pop the bubbles. All right, let's, uh, let's blow this out and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a quick second because all I'm seeing is purple and that's not really what I wanna go for. Um, so I'm going to add some of the greenish blue down here again um, because I just, I, want, I really wanna make sure I see other colors other than this dark, this dark purple. So I'm just gonna mess with it now. Now I'm just messing with things, so we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Let's let's keep going. Okay, I'm so glad I stopped when I did that and I added the extra greenish blue and the light purple because I, you can see here, it definitely worked because you can really see the greenish blue in here. And I'm really glad I did that because I would have been pretty disappointed in myself if all I could see was the, the dark purple. And again, thank goodness I did not put it on the top. And in fact, if I could redo it, I probably would have put it near the bottom next time. But I do love the way this looks. I love the way the purple and turquoise look. Purple and turquoise are so beautiful together. Now, let me see if there's anything I want to fidget with. I really like this. Maybe a little bit here because it's just too much of a straight line here. So let me see if I can just blow a little bit of this out. Now you can't see much because it's that lilac purple, but when I bring you in for a close up, you'll be able to see it better. Okay, that's way better. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow, the outline of the gold always amazes me. And I don't think there's anything else I wanna to touch on this. It's so pretty. All right, I'm going to fix my edges and I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody, while I was fixing my edges and getting everything ready, I actually got an email from a viewer of mine who in fact got scammed. And it makes me sick that this has happened. And the scammer sent a PayPal link um, saying to donate like 20 bucks or something like that. And the PayPal link 
and they fell for it and they thought they won my painting and they fell for it and they sent the money. So now they're trying to work with PayPal and their credit card company to get the money back. Guys, please, please. Um, you all know my PayPal link. It's in the description below. It's got my name in it. When you click on it, it's got my, you know, it's got all my information there. So please don't click on any links. Don't pay anyone any money. You know, I told you guys, you guys were going to win a giveaway. You guys were going to win a painting. Nowhere did I ever say you had to pay for any of it or pay for shipping or do anything like that. So please, please, it, I'm so upset about this. It's driving me nuts and it makes me sad to think that people unfortunately are falling for this. So please, please don't do that. Um, just I, this has totally ruined my day. Like, honest, it's ruined everything. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry if this is happening to you, but I, I can't do anything about it other than notify you guys and let you guys know about the scams that are happening. Um, anywho, I've already gone ahead and scraped the drips. Let me show you guys a close up. I I'm so, I'm so sick to my stomach that these, oh, I just want to swear, but I can't. Because I know there's so many people watching and there's sometimes kids are watching my channel, my videos, but it just makes me so upset and see the closer I go, my camera changes the color. So I can't really go that close unless I zoom in like this. But anywho, I love the piece. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, let's check it out with the shimmer and the lights. Right, lights are off, flash is on, and... There's that gold and the pearl cream and the iridescent by Peveo, which I'm so happy I added because you see it all here in this part, which I'm really happy I did that. But uh, definitely lots of shimmer in this piece. She's going to dry beautifully, I can just tell. I love the shimmer around the edges. That's why I love my 24 karat gold by Deco Art. Very, very pretty. I really love turquoise. It's kind of like Tiffany blue to me, you know, Tiffany, something I've never owned in my life. So there you have it, everybody. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think about this piece in the comments below. And yeah, please comment. <laughs> comment because I want to know what you think. And comment because it helps my channel. Subscribe because it helps my channel. Don't just comment because you want to win something. <laughs> so please comment below. Um, and let me know what you guys think about this piece. That's all. Super simple. Takes five seconds out of your time, but helps me tremendously as a channel. Helps the algorithm. Helps YouTube. Helps me completely. So I would really appreciate that very, very much. And everything you need to know is listed in the description below. All right. The colors, the info, discounts on a bunch of different companies. Uh, information for Charlotte, North Carolina, information for Seattle, Washington. If you want to come and see me in Seattle in April, there's information down below. Okay. And please, please, please do not engage with these scammers, these jerks, these, oh, you know what I want to say. Please, please be mindful. Don't give anyone any money. I would never email you and ask you or text you or any of that for any personal information. Okay, guys, you guys know my email address. It's canelasaraco at gmail.com. If you get a message from me anywhere other than that email, it's fake. You know my Facebook, you know my Instagram, you know, just please do your research before talking to these people and acknowledging them and sending them any money. I'm so sorry this is happening. It's out of my hands. That's it. I, I'm, I'm done. Um, if anyone is interested in this beautiful piece, you know what to do. Email me. And that is it. Until And I will let you guys know when the winner is chosen for the blob painting. Okay? Until next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.